Welcome back, everybody. Wanted to show you this storm, which is going to come up from the southwest and impact this area. We'll talk about us locally here in just a little bit, but I wanted to show you there's actually a blizzard warning out now from Minnesota down to near Des Moines, Iowa, Omaha, stretching back into Kansas. They're expecting four to seven inches of snow and 50 mile per hour winds out there. So winter on the backside of it. We're going to see an outbreak of severe weather south of here, maybe some tornadoes. Again, that's south of here. And for us, well, wind is going to be one issue. As a matter of fact, our, all of our counties in Illinois are under a wind advisory. This is for Sunday. And this shaded area here, you don't see that often in our neck of the woods, but it's a high wind watch that's in effect on Sunday. We could see some wind gusts in these shaded areas. It could be in the 40 to 50 mile per hour range, maybe a little higher. And these areas here, we're looking at probably in the 30 to 40 range. And I think, by the way, that will get extended into Indiana. So wind is going to be an issue, not thunderstorm wind, just wind in general behind that storm. As it moves in. Temperature wise today, we hit 43 for the high. 31 has been the low. 71, the record high, minus 8 is your record low. No precipitation yet. We expect that to change by the time we get into tomorrow morning. I don't think there'll be much rain tonight. Most of it will hold off till tomorrow. Sunrise, sunset for tomorrow, 11 hours, 4 minutes of daylight. River stage in Terre Haute rising slowly at 15.1 feet. Here's what we've got now as far as Terre Haute goes 41. Winds east northeast today. It's a little bit of a wind chill, 36. Pressure 3031. If you have a barometer at home, watch it. It's going to go down. That storm's pretty intense as it moves up across Illinois. So the air pressures will be falling a lot between now and Saturday night. It should pass right over just north of this area Saturday night. Temperatures in the lower 40s out there right now. Here comes the moisture in from the southwest with that system. Again, it will be pulling lots of moisture in, but the deeper moisture and the big storms will be south of the area. This rain you see tonight is actually not going to get up here. This is going to stay south of the area. So we're just looking at the cloudy skies now. Rain tonight will be probably late and not very significant. Here's what it looks like on the Dorset Automotive Doppler radar. There's really nothing showing up near this area. We expect to stay dry until late tonight. And in the late tonight, especially into tomorrow, we see the rain chances, but really we don't even see it becoming widespread. Look at this until the afternoon. Once we hit the afternoon, the rain chances will pick up some and the intensity picks up a little. Can't rule out a few thunderstorms, but the odds of severe weather look to be better south of here. Here's what it looks like on Sunday. Everything leaves. The temperatures will be 20 degrees colder. The wind will howl from the west northwest going to be kind of a rough day on Sunday because of that wind and the colder temperatures. Severe risk south of the area. This is marginal, so we might have a stronger storm or two in the south, but the slight risk is even south of here now. We think it'll be down towards Arkansas and Mississippi and Alabama, places like that, a higher risk of severe weather. Can't rule out a couple stronger storms around here, but they don't think that's going to be a major issue for us. Behind that storm, Sunday, windy, colder, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, all look to be chilly as we end the month of February, and we'll have to watch late next week the possibility of another system moving in. Temperatures will warm some as we get into tomorrow, but then after that, it's all over. Back to the colder weather mass as we head into next week, and it looks like it's going to stay that way for a while as we get into the first part of uh, March. Here's Feb 28 to March 4, below normal, and then we can go a little bit farther. This is going all the way out now to about March 8th, below normal. I think by mid-March, though, we break and warmer weather moves in. For tonight, 36, mostly cloudy, and the rain will be late tonight. Tomorrow, scattered showers, maybe a storm developing, but look at the high, 58 degrees. The rain will end tomorrow night, windy, and that's going to be the big story on Sunday. Windy and much colder, 20 degrees colder, and we stay below normal, 19 on Monday morning, 34 the high Monday, and temperatures slowly getting back above normal, but not until the end of next week. But yeah, interesting <laughs> weekend from like almost spring-like to winter-like in one day. Yeah, and if you drive in a high-profile vehicle, be oh, yeah. careful. Yeah, it's going to be quite windy. Yeah. Like a tractor or something. Oh, like, well, no, well, those can pretty, handle. Yeah, they're pretty, yeah, they pretty heavy. <laughs> All right, you're not going to drive a tractor.